Hey guys, it's Anya. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a T12 complete paraplegic from a spinal cord injury in 2015. Today I'm going to talk about getting a tattoo when you're a wheelchair user because I was definitely unsure in terms of accessibility and what would work for me. So I thought I'd just uh, talk about my experience to help you out and please uh, give this big, uh, video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Uh, share it to someone that you think it may help um, and comment down below as well what you think of my tattoos. Before I got my tattoos I was a little bit worried about accessibility and rightly so because when I was actually ringing up all the different tattoo salons or inquiring, inquiring about, uh, about them a lot weren't accessible. Um, some I actually had quite a few say, oh, the piercing shop's accessible, but then the tattoo shop's up the stairs, or there's just too many steps up and it's an old building to the tattoo parlour, or it is, they don't have a disabled toilet. Lots didn't have a disabled toilet, even if they were initially accessible, they didn't have disabled toilets actually in the in the actual place. Um, and then also parking. Um, some of them, you know, the parking was ages away for me to actually roll there was too difficult. So actually finding a tattoo salon that actually, you know, it wasn't perfect in terms of accessibility, but things never are. But actually being able to get into the building, it was nearby-ish parking. Did have to go past like a bit of a dual carriageway actually uh, to get to the salon. But it was only about a five minute little push. Um, the actual salon was completely accessible. Um, the uh, They did have a toilet in there. It wasn't a disabled toilet, which would have made it a lot easier. It was just a room, a normal toilet room. Um, but there was a bit of a kind of ledge up into the toilet. So I kind of had to part my chair kind of straight on and then somehow twist my body round. So it was a bit of an effort, but I managed to do it. The fact that they actually had a toilet in there that I could get into is a huge, huge plus. And then the actual positioning of getting the tattoo. So I actually stayed in my chair the whole time. Instead of sitting on the tattooist chair or the beds that people do, um, I did stay in my wheelchair. The tattooist beds were transferable, like I could have got on them, but it was easier to put my arm like this and just stay where I was. Then I could go to the toilet and stuff like that. And at first I was like, oh, is that going to be uncomfortable? And yes, obviously sitting in the chair is going to be uncomfortable but i'm used to that obviously um and actually having a sort of armrest so for this one um i think i was sat almost like that at quite a steep angle and i kind of was like this and um, for this one it almost went under my arm and so i was kind of like that so if you imagine that for eight hours you know one thing that i didn't think of at all for upper body tattoos because i remember thinking oh, imagine, you know, how great it's going to be if I ever want tattoos, I'll get them on my legs and it won't hurt. But then I was like, mm, no, I'll probably spasm. Um, and for spinal cord injury, spasms are quite common. Um, it can be if there's a certain pain or for me, for some reason, I get spasms uh, when my blood is full. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Um, so actually when my blood was full, when I was in the studio, my leg was doing this, which is what it does. So it does this sort of movement, um, literally exactly like that. Just one leg will just get up, down, up, down, up, down, um, when my blood is full. So yeah, the fact that they had a toilet I could get into was even more important. And I didn't realize, but the kind of shaking from my leg, if it's doing that, it's going to have a bit of residual sort of shaking there. So I literally, as soon as it happened, I was like, sorry, need the toilet and, and went to the toilet. Um, yeah, you wouldn't have thought it for upper body tattoos that it would affect you. But I guess it was a bit of an awkward position. And if one part of your body is shaking, it's going to affect the tattoo a little bit there. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Imagine if you, it was a big one and you like jumped or anything like that. So keeping your arms still, that was quite a challenge. Um, but I just made sure to keep myself distracted. Um, I brought with me just my phone, my phone charger um, and headphones um, and just wanted to distract myself. Um, I remember when I was looking at the actual pain and stuff like that, they said how after five hours it's fine. And then once you get after five hours, it just goes up and up and up. 
and that was definitely true so for this one because it was about six the last hour was really painful for this one it was about three to four hours really quite painful and i've got a high pain tolerance um but yeah it it was painful that one especially all the different shading that they're doing the kind of white spots that they put in ouch at the end because they were going over everything and all the like the red green blue colors stuff like that um even though it's a black and gray tattoo they still put certain pigments in and going over the same thing over and over and shading the same thing over and over that was painful whereas this one it was just the shading on the kind of arm and stuff that actually hurt i think as well placement that one i think it's less fleshy i think this one where you've got quite a lot of muscle and flesh and stuff it was definitely more painful um so for this one my kind of story obviously is about a phoenix rising um this still i rise was from uh, mary angelou a poem that i really loved um and yeah the phoenix rising to the sun it's really important to me in terms of my mental health this one the meaning um i wanted a snake shedding um i had lots of different ideas um i was looking into like scarab beetles and trying to make it match sort of with the phoenix something egyptian or maybe something greek greek um but settled on just a snake shedding in terms of just letting go of my past and just kind of getting on with it um it ended up not actually being shedding but you know the it, it's still there the sort of symbolism of snake shedding their skin and just getting on with things really um there was a lot that went into the design it was probably about one and a half hours of just designing it um and just making sure i liked every little bit of it um i assume i mean it kind of looks like a python from the from there but um yeah the details in it are just absolutely incredible um and i'm really really happy with it i think there are very different styles so it's kind of outshone a little bit the phoenix um but yeah that's line art this is realism so actually mixing the two um i don't think looks odd i think the yeah the realism of the snake is just phenomenal so for the aftercare they'll wrap you up in cling film and send you on your way um they should really send you um instructions on how to deal with uh, the tattoo for the next few weeks so um immediately you keep it wrapped for about one to three hours and um, this is just protect it Betty, shush. Um, and just make sure that you keep your hands really uh, well washed and every three to four hours you wash with non-scented um, wash I got tattoo goo and um, so I got the tattoo goo balm the kind of moisturizer lotion um, and the wash so you want to uh, put water on it and wash it like that gently and then you can let it air dry I got just kitchen towel and kind of patted it dry um and then you can rewrap before bed for like 10 to 14 days you want to again be washing it every three to four hours um you can start putting lotion on it at that point um a very thin layer to start with just because it can be a bit irritated um so just washing and moisturizing um and you keep it unwrapped for this now so you want to just let the air on it you want to avoid like exercise that's going to make you sweat a lot um kind of sun exposure obviously no sunbeds or anything like that or fake tan uh, just keeping the area clean definitely don't go swimming don't use any sort of scented product on it um i think they recommend bupanthan uh moisturizer but yeah the tattoo goo one was really good for me it says to avoid contact with animals but that is impossible when you've got a pug who annoys me 24 seven in the most wonderful way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you in my next one.